Phil Heath, who won the Olympia seven times. And when he was going to train with me, he said, I'm going to empty my cup to learn from you. That's one of the three greatest bodybuilders in the history of mankind, saying that he's going to come train with me and learn. YouTube talking about the breakdown of um, protein and the synthesis of it and, and how the body utilizes it and how you should you, how the body loses fat. A good coach will see what is possible in you. Sorry, let me say that again. A coach will see what's possible in you and then know what to get and how to get you there. And so that's him, but, but for everybody out there, the way that translates to you is maybe you're not gifted, maybe you're not this or that, but you are responsible for your own life and to be the very best version of yourself. And if you've given up on yourself, then please, there's no reason to follow us or anything like that. There's no, there's no reason for you to follow us because we don't want those kind of people. If you're not giving up on your life and you still want to have hope and want to get in better shape, sorry it's so long-winded. No. But it's stuff. just, if you watch what I just watched with him in there, it brought, and it's bringing tears to my eyes just thinking about it, is that you got the one freaking life. It is a, you saying Bolt, Bolt said, he trains four years for nine seconds. And I put that on my page and I said, he trains four years for nine seconds and most of you will not even train for your life. He's just training that hard for nine seconds. And you guys are out there going, eh, I, I don't need it. I don't need it. And I'm not talking about exercise to look good. I'm not talking about exercise to be big and strong. I'm talking about exercise so you can get your ass off the couch, that you can have healthy knees. What he said about so you can go play with your grandkids, that you can have a longer life. Um, so that's, I, I guess that's really kind of what I want to talk to you. I'm going to do another video with him later this week for YouTube because I see all these guys on uh, YouTube talking about the breakdown of um, protein and the synthesis of it and, and how the body utilizes it and how you should you how the body loses fat and I thought it was funny I thought it was funny because of the fact of those are things you don't even need to know you need to know the right program to do uh, I can bring Mona in here and she's not going to be able to discuss breakdown of proteins and carbohydrates as well as a doctor does, a nutritional, uh, somebody with a PhD. The difference is she applies the basics, which all you need to know, and looks like she does compared to the doctors that look like crap. So we're going to talk about that later this week, about just the understanding of if, if you guys want to read every book and you want to study everything and understand how the body breaks down and you want to be able to sound like a brilliant individual saying this is how protein is used in carbohydrates, I, congratulations, that's awesome. Um, but I would recommend you also do the other aspect of it, is put that shit in play and, and, and actually do that kind of stuff. So I was just watching YouTube videos and the guys were talking about this is how you break down, this is how you buy, and I'm like, none of this is useful. Yeah, I don't. I was thinking about this the other day. It's None of it's useful. That you bring it up. I, I thought about. I'm reading the book Mastery. Okay. And it's it's about really getting to a level of mastering whatever it is that you do. And I thought, what am I a master at? Like, what am I? I'm at the sage place in my life. I'm not the most educated person when it comes to weight training. Nor am I the most educated when it comes to nutrition and all of that sort of thing. I know what I need to know to get where I want to be. And I know enough of what I need to know to get the majority of the people, actually every person that comes to me, I know more than enough to get them to where they want to go. But what I'm a master at is human relations and getting the most out of people. So in order for nutrition to be anything that makes any kind of sense in anyone's life, you need to want to really get the most out of your body at whatever age you're at. And that's what I'm a master at. Like people come to me and I am able to take them from where they're at emotionally and, and mentally and, and all of the excuses that they make and shift that for them because I've experienced it in my life over and over and over again. Not just with myself, but with the thousands of people that have come to me and through me to get to where they want to go. And, and I own that, man. And I'm not ashamed to say that. I'm a master at it. And if, if you don't have a coach in your life that speaks that confidently about themselves, you need to go find another coach. 
with him saying that, uh, uh, it's funny. Uh, a coach is not there to baby you. A coach is not there to guide you along. A good coach will see what is possible in you. Sorry, let me say that again. A coach will see what's possible in you and then know what to get and how to get you there. And this is something you don't even see in yourself. So that's that's one of the bigger things. I'm, I'm turning this young 21-year-old kid and I go, you got all the potential in the world. You have no clue how to get there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull you back to get you to where you need to be. Because all you're doing is destroying yourself. Let me pull you back a bit. And so what Clark is great at and, and knows plenty of, and, when, and I understand this too. When Clark says he, he doesn't know all this about nutrition, it's like, trust me. 40 years in the game he knows enough but what we're saying is is not we're not going to sit down and, and dissect with a a nutritionist and try to break down every molecule and how it functions because it's not necessary you don't need to be that far gone in one aspect of it because they don't apply it and so we want to to apply this stuff and understand there's a program that goes with it then you got to understand how the nutrition works but then beyond all that you need a coach that calls you out and knows where you can go to. And that's that's what Clark is, and that's what I kind of I slipped yesterday. I, I, I'm going to call him a Clark Barkstrom. I kind of yelled at him and said, if you guys check in with me and give me any excuses, I'm done with you. Yeah. Um, and that's what you guys need. You need a little kick in the ass because here's the biggest thing. You're not kicking yourself in the ass. And, I don't, and we're not the snowflake mentality. No. We weren't raised that way. So no, not, not at all. It's, you know, it, when people really get you and understand your style, then they appreciate it. I'll never forget going through Marine Corps boot camp. I hated my drill instructors the first two weeks, the first three weeks. But by the end of 13 weeks of intense training and just in your face, I love those guys. I, I appreciated what they did to me. It's like every football coach or every – at first you hate it, but then you realize – when the season's done, you're looking at this guy like, wow, I'm never going to see this person again, man. And, and they had such a massive impact in my life. You know, it's, it's important. And people are going to come and people are going to go. But while you're here and when you do your check-in, it's important that you check in knowing that you did your best. Because if you want the most out of any program, you got to give it your best effort. That is it. And when you do, then you can't get yelled at. It's like, man, I did the absolute best I could. And he's smart enough to know if that's a true statement or not. And so am I. Like, I know when my guys are really giving it their all. So it's, you know, it's, it just comes back to two guys really wanting to use the knowledge and experience that we've gained over the years and give it back to people who said, I'm here and I want help. You know, that's why if you, if you don't check in today, giving your best, you're going to get it. And you're going to get it because he loves you. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. That's up. it, guys. Um, also, just understand that a, a coach is somebody, uh, a coach can't teach you anything. He can just make you think. Um, and the guys that think or, or the people that are being able to have their cup open for knowledge are usually the best. And I just got off the phone with Gavin Murphy uh, because I was with Phil Heath, who won the Olympia seven times. And when he was going to train with me, he said, I'm going to empty my cup to learn from you. Now, that's one of the three greatest bodybuilders in the history of mankind saying that he's going to come train with me and learn. So that, that's, that's, the, that's, I had a similar compliment today with the football trick that I did into the trash can, the quarterback that I challenged, who's a Super Bowl champion quarterback, messaged me today. He said, Clark, I watched that video a hundred times to see how in the hell you did that. I, I, Benita was in the car, <laughs> and I'm like, Anita, do you know how cool that is for me or for you? You got a seven-time well, Mr. Think, Olympia coming think, to you. We <laughs> think football is like that pinnacle. Yeah. So this guy won the Super Bowl, which is the pinnacle of the pinnacle, and he was the starting quarterback. And so when he does that, yeah, I mean, I was in the car. I'm like, this is so freaking cool. And people don't get it. Like, yeah. Anita appreciated how much I loved hearing that. 
but you never really get it till you're in a position like this where you've dedicated your life to what you're doing and you have someone who's won the biggest bodybuilding competition in the world and it's equivalent to the Super Bowl. He's won it seven times. He's in a class of three people who've ever done it that many times and now he's saying, hey Mike, I wanna come and train with you so I can learn some of what you know. And then I got off the phone with Gavin Murphy, our, my friend uh, and his uh, training partner, Stan Efferden, is down with John Jones, who's probably the best light heavyweight in history, uh, training him. And John Jones is opening to understanding how Stan trains and how that can help him as he moves up a weight class. So we're talking about three guys, not us three. Yeah. We're talking about three guys um, in their fields that have done better than us in our fields, in a sense wanting to learn from us just because we've been in this game uh, and have knowledge. So hopefully you guys are picking up on that and understanding that we're here. Um, we have Pat supplementation, Clark, uh, Clark Bartram. Okay, I asked just now. Um, but we're here trying to give you knowledge and give you information because it does us no good taking this to the grave. So I'm going to teach my son all of it uh, and the mindset to start with and uh, see what he comes up to. But we're trying to give this to you guys. So if you guys want this, Head on over to Clark Bartram uh, on Instagram. It's about 1440 right now. 1440. Um, we are back in it doing appearances and stuff, but um, behind me you see that I have my vegan protein now. And That's yes, awesome. uh, that is going to be in India for all you guys over there that do that, and then also here in America for anybody that uh, wants to do more of a vegan diet. Where's so, that picture of that one you just showed me, man? Have you shown me? With my mom? Exactly? Yeah, with your mom. It's right here. Look at this thing, man. Were you, is this a wrestling match? No, it's the gym where she went oh. to go work out with me, and I was getting ready for my first show. So let me show my guys first. That's Mike at 14. We're bringing this over. It's me at 14 with my mom. And that's before my first bodybuilding show at 14 years old. Traps are popping out. Yee-hoo! I came down from, uh, at 14, I was 205, and I came down to 176 on stage. And at 14, I beat, there was 20 kids in the show. They were all 19-year-olds except for me. And uh, I won the show. And, uh, yeah, and then two weeks later, I won my first powerlifting meet. They forgot to tell me you don't do bodybuilding and then straight into a powerlifting meet. So I Sometimes said, forget it's that. When people don't tell you what's not possible. I called it an ignorant bliss. My youth was an ignorant bliss thinking these guys are average, which is great. That's a, that's we gave you a lot today. Um, Take away this, and I'm going to go back just to not even our discussion, but the discussion that was received. So it doesn't matter what we say, it's what you can learn from it. So an individual, two individuals on this live here, one individual, and this is the mindset we go back to, as Clark said. One said, I am fired up, I want to go train. Now that's the kind of guy that we're going to hang out with and talk with, and that's kind of like a, someone that uh, loves his life and appreciates himself. He's not going to make up excuses or be one of these uh, snowflakes of today's day and age and try to come up with a hundred excuses not to do what he wants to do. Um, the second person, go for it, has an attitude that is going to lower their vibration. Well, how do you know he has an attitude off of one comment? Because the one guy said, oh, I want to go work out now. So you instantly know how his character is. And then the other guy went, Diana Ball, which is saying how insecure he is, how much he doesn't want to work, how much he wants to hate on people who've achieved things. It says so much. One word, one expression, one sigh from a human, you can tell where it's coming from. And when you're exposed to people on all different levels, it's easy to go, this is the person that I'm going to hang around and this is the person that I'm just going to completely not even You know what I love about your crew and my crew? is that the guys and girls are warriors. They are. They got that like Mona kind of personality, you know. You you uh, you call them up, they man up. And, and man up in the sense of just, they want to go to fight. Um, oh, these guys want to compete. My they guys want are to, right? waiting to come back to my house to compete against. They love it. Thanks for hanging out, boys and girls. Have a great day today. Thanks for hanging. Um,